Okay guys, so I'm pretty sure by looking here in the first two seconds of this video, you could tell what this video is about. This one is about the tires because in my setup, depending on how I end up mounting this, I may just go and buy myself a mount uh, because what I'd prefer is to have the engine mounted sideways this way with the wheel making contact with the tire right here. Uh, and the reason is because then you put wear on the tread pattern itself, which is designed to take heavy wear, uh, and it, you'll get longer life out of it. Now, if you're going to put it on the sidewall, you can see the marks on this sidewall where it's already worn thin. Um, this was actually done before I got these tires because the previous user, I bought them used, had, um, well, made mistakes and run them way too low on air. This is a 60 plus PSI capable tire and tube combo, uh, and he was running them at your typical 32 to 45 PSI that you would normally run an off-road tire on. These are not designed for that kind of PSI, and if you don't have them pumped up right, you will damage your sidewall, which this guy did. That means, while these tires are perfectly usable, I'm just gonna turn on the torch here, for my biking setup and have probably a long lifespan left, Maxxis are actually really good tires, um, this is starting to show and that means I will not be using these tires for anything other than my winter bike setup. Uh, for one, in the winter, it's generally a little more easier on the rubber. The rubber tends to harden a little bit, uh, and it's softer in warmer conditions. So you do not want your soft, your soft sidewall, which this is. If you can look, I've even got the 60 plus PSI in here, and I can press this in pretty easily. Um, you do not want this motor setup pushing on the side, which is common. Your generator will also be on the side, guys. Uh, and this would just destroy this tire. And these are actually expensive tires, guys. You could spend a lot of money on tires and just absolutely destroy them. So I wanted to cover tires. And if you're going to have a setup that mounts on the side like this, you really want to consider a, kind, a something like this. Now, these tires are an OVA, this one. And if you look here, it's got this. Man, this is almost geared. I mean, this is such a nice sidewall thickness in the first place the tread also if you were running your motor on the top of this this is actually what i recommend guys this is a great tire because it has some tread but it's grippy and they're made like this um this is not heavily worn out and on the sidewall it is a very stiff reinforced sidewall that is perfect for the kind of thing we're going to be doing so that will actually be the rubber that I put on the rear. Right now it's got a, a front tire set up on it. So we're gonna put that one aside and you can see in the background I've got some fenders here. I'm gonna cover those later just for those of you who are giving some thought to that. Now here's another choice. It has a sidewall reinforcement, this little line. It has a decent tread pattern, which will give you some decent run capability. And that's fine. Uh, so we'll look and see the company name here. Not that it matters, because this isn't actually one that I highly recommend, but it would do the job. And this is kind of my point. Um, the only thing you really have to worry about in a setup like this, guys. Man, I can't even see the name of the company. These, this is an old tire. Um, I don't even see it here. All right, so we've got a no-name tire. <laughs> no, somewhere on here is the company name, no doubt. And there it is. Okay. So, uh, this is not a bad tire choice. Uh, this is a Kenda, as you can see, hold on. And Kenda is awesome. I love Kenda tires. I've been using them for many, many years. Um, and, I, and I've never had a problem with a Kenda tire. They have good wear life. Uh, and so I actually recommend these. A lot of folks might think they want a soft tire because it's more grippy. But in the end, you really don't, guys. Okay, so here we're looking at a Schwinn tire. Now, I actually highly recommend these. And the reason is, they have a fairly stiff sidewall. You can see it's got the same type of reinforcement here as the other tire I showed you, the Innova. But it has a better tre tread pattern. And if you really look at this pattern, it's actually a very good grip pattern, which will make it good all year round. They're good in the rain. They're good in the winter. They're good on snow. They're good on whatever. Um, they're not as good on snow as this. Big shock there. They're not as good if you want to use it as a motorcycle, but for a typical person doing this type of a build, these are excellent guys. Now, if you notice, I have a pair of them, and they're identical, okay? 
Now this will not be what I use for my front tire, guys. This, these will be rear tires only, okay? Now, I had a full set of the Schwinn ones, and then we, that brings me to this one. Now it looks the same as the Schwinn and the Kenda. It looks very, very similar, guys. But take a look at the sidewall. You can see, I just move it and it indents. This is such a razor thin sidewall, guys. You don't want that, okay? This is a great tire. There's nothing wrong with it, uh, if all you were gonna do. And it's also Kenda. It's one of my favorite makes of tire. And it looks very similar to the others, but it does have a different tread pattern. It is a hard tread pattern, which gives it good wear life. If you were to mount on top here, this would be fine. If you're mounting on top, this is great because this has a very stiff tread pattern that's not incredibly soft, but still has a great grip pattern. This one's actually one of the best ones. I love this one. Um, and I've used this set before and I loved it. So I'm gonna put that one aside because for me, that one's not gonna be the best choice. My rear tires are actually gonna be these two Schwinn's right here. And having an old set like this can be really helpful. And I like them because they have the sidewall. And if I try and pull this up, you can see it's actually very difficult to move. It's very stiff. It's literally triple the thickness of the Kenda tire. Now that does mean it's a little heavier. If you pick the Kenda tire up in your hand, it's feather light. If you pick this one up in your hand, it's actually pretty heavy. Now you'll notice this is my longest video so far in this series. And I still have one more tire to cover you guys because a lot of people think that you should use these. Now this is a Bontrager, but it has the same fundamental problem that some of these other rims have. The sidewalls, guys, are very, very thin. Very, very thin. There's almost nothing to it. So before you pick a set of tires for this setup, you really need to consider how thick is your sidewall because the generator is gonna be up against it. It'll wear out very quickly if you don't do that. You wanna consider, in this case, it's nice and stiff. You wanna consider how stiff and tough the tread pattern is on top if you're gonna mount there. I wanna do both. I wanna have the generator on one side and I wanna have the motor on the other side in my current setup, which means I need a good stiff sidewall. That becomes the most important thing at that moment. And since these are the tires that I have that have the best sidewall, these are gonna be the ones that I use. Now, my front tire doesn't have to be this way. My front tire could be any of these and it would be fine. So I have a couple here that I'm gonna use as front rubber and these three are gonna be used as back rubber. Guys, plan this out. While you may not burn through a lot of batteries, you will burn through tires, but the tires are cheap, especially if you're not replacing the rim. The tire itself is fairly inexpensive, especially if you buy them used, guys. I highly recommend them. Keith out.